Hello and welcome to Men's League TV. I'm your host and the commissioner of the league, John Karam, and today's show is the preseason edition. Uh, we're going a little different direction with Men's League TV this year. Uh, we're going to go to more of a video podcast format. I'll be having interviews and uh, co-hosts and uh, uh, getting sponsors and we'll be talking about all sorts of things. Of course, Men's League will be one of them and uh, other things such as uh, what's going on at the club. So we'll have special guests uh, each week and I hope you enjoy the new format. It'll be weekly. Uh, for those new people who's new to the club, you'll be getting an email from me on Thursday with the uh, video podcast uh, that we're going to uh, that we're going to do for that week. Uh, today's show, for example, features interviews with our new manager Tyler Fitzgerald and my co-host today, which is uh, Cameron Gall, our head pro. Um, just a couple of news items, uh, just so you're aware that the club is opening on Thursday, April 28th, which means that your first uh, uh, time that you can sign up for Men's League, which will be start May 4th, but you can sign up on April 27th. Um, the sign, the, we have a very full, full league. I can't tell you the exact number yet. Uh, we're still waiting on to see how many people uh, have left the club uh, and uh, are not returning. And so we don't know the exact number, but it, I can tell you it's going to be more than last year. So it, the first few weeks are going to be tough to get a sign in, uh, but don't be discouraged because what happens typically is that after three or four weeks, things start easing off, especially as the better, better weather comes in and people start going to cottages on the weekend usually after the May, the long weekend in May and definitely after the long weekend in July then things open up quite a bit so keep trying now uh, so put in your time for on Wednesday if you're late getting your time let's say you didn't get it in till Thursday or Friday you decided you want to play Wednesday and there doesn't appear to any times you can sign up at a non men's league time and on men's league time is anywhere outside of the 1030 to 7 ish uh, uh, time scale on on Wednesday uh, you can't sign up for times between uh, 9 and about 9 15 those are satellite league times but if you sign up at another time let's say 7 in the morning or uh, between 9 30 and 10 30 uh, you can if there are openings you can do that but you won't be eligible for any on course prizes because we don't put the prizes out till 10 30. Um, also, you should know that two days before men's league starts and satellite league starts, any time that's free is available to you. So keep trying. You might still get a, an opening. Oftentimes, once the tee sheet has been published, uh, usually by Friday or Saturday when Cameron publishes the tee sheet, you'll see some openings throughout the day. You can always find an opening to, to sign on with somebody. So uh, there are other ways of getting in if you are late, but don't be late this year, especially for the first four weeks. We have a lot of people. Um, for new pe people new to the club, um, I'm going to urge you to make sure that you watch the video on how to score electronically. That's very, very important. Uh, we do all our scoring through e-cards. It's an electronic score system. You put it in through your phone or through your computer. Uh, many people put it in on their phone while they're on the course. The so people who have bad eyes and can't see their phone will take it home and put it in on their computer. So um, if you're new to the league, try and get into a group that has done it before so that you don't have to do the scoring. But if you've got to do the scoring, um, look at that video. Um, I'm going to try something pretty risky this year. I'm going to try and eliminate everybody off the, uh, 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 I have everybody signed up to the electronic scorecard from last year, but we've had so many changes. I'm going to erase all those emails and put in all the new emails for this year. So you all should be getting a new invitation to the scorecard and, and you get that invitation and you, then you can access it through Google Sheets. So if you don't have that on your uh, iPhone or uh, Android device, download Google Sheets and you'll be able to directly access the scorecard there. Once you've got access to it, it's the same scorecard every week. Uh, I erase it um, on Tuesday morning and on Tuesday afternoon, I put in the new names for your foursome and your tea time. So it's all, all labeled for you. All you have to do is go to that tea time and you just enter your scores. Um, so 
we have uh, I just wanted to make sure I get all the new features here um, yeah the main new feature this year is uh, we're going to be having live scoring now what that means is as you enter your score either on your phone or your computer once you get your last score entered and you close off the spreadsheet that score is going to be entered on the live scoring board and you'll be able to see immediately well within five minutes I should say how your how you compare with everybody else that day it, it gives you a, a live update so how you're doing with your gross score compared to everybody else how you're doing with your net score the net score leaders the gross score leaders and the putting leaders so you'll be able to get that information immediately um, so that's why I'd really like you to get your scores in as quickly as possible it should be a lot of fun um, there's a video on how to access live scoring you can do it through the website uh, uh, there's a live scoring button at the top right but once you've accessed it I've shown you a couple of ways of putting it on your desktop on your computer or uh, creating an icon for your phone or your Android device so you can access it directly so you don't have to go through all the sign-in process you just click that icon and boom you're into the live scoring so that should be a lot of fun and so uh, that's it for the news items I'm going to get into our interviews let's go meet Tyler and uh, Cameron Okay, I'm here with Tyler Fitzgerald, and um, Tyler, welcome to Carleton. And uh, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, sounds good. Thanks, John. So I, I've uh, I've been here for just uh, over a month now, and uh, I uh, I'm really excited to be here at Carleton. I, I kind of grew up just outside the Ottawa area, so I grew up in Elmer, Quebec. Uh, my uncle was a golf pro growing up, and he's the one that kind of inspired me to get into the golf business. I started working for him when I was about 15 years old, and uh, from there I, I've had the pleasure of working at some great courses uh, here in the Ottawa Valley and, and, and in Toronto as well. Also spent a summer working out in Banff. Um, so yeah, so prior to here I was the head pro at the Ottawa Hunt Club for three years, and prior to that was the uh, head pro at the Scarborough Golf and Country Club for five years. Worked at St. George's for a couple of years, also at Thornhill Golf Club as well. And um, and now I'm here. I'm really happy to be here as well. Wow. The very impressive uh, resume there, uh, Tyler. Uh, we're very lucky to have you. Um, uh, family? Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm single, uh, eligible, I guess you want to call it. Um, I live in Russell, so not too far away from, from here, from the club. Um, but I do have, uh, actually, I, I have a family member tie in with the club. So my grandfather is a member here. And with my last name being Fitzgerald, it might not be too hard to uh, uh, ascertain who that is. Uh, Lauren Fitzgerald is my, my grandfather, and he's been a, a member here for quite a while. And uh, happy to have him maybe uh, look over me for a little bit. Uh, he'll probably be teasing me uh, after the, seeing this video. But, um, but yeah, so that's my family. Okay, Tyler, we won't hold that against you. <laughs> um, so Tyler, what is exactly your role at the club? I know you're the manager, but especially for the new people that are new to the club, they may not know what the manager does and what the role is. So maybe you can explain that to us. Right, and and you know that's a great question, John. Um, well, obviously a few people may know there's been some transition over the winter time. Um, so Cameron, who's the head golf professional, he's moved over to the clubhouse. So he's in charge of clubhouse operations as well as sales and marketing. Um, I've taken over, uh, I'm the new manager of golf operations so anything golf related will fall under uh, on my plate and so from running events from lessons from programming uh, leads uh, website design all that will be uh, will be under my umbrella so okay wow so um, you don't have anything to do with like signing up new members or is that under so that, that would be that would be still Cameron's uh, responsibility. However, I'll be involved with the process. So when new members come for tours of the club, I'll be I'll be there to help Cameron with that. OK, so I know it's your first year and you've had a varied, uh, varied experience uh, being a golf pro and, and working in the golf industry. Um, what would be your your goals for your first year here at Carleton? Yeah, well, I, I think my goal this year is, is certainly to try and get to meet and know as many members as possible. Um, what I've heard about Carleton is it has a fantastic uh, club community here, and I'm really excited to be involved with that. Um, 
my you know a few of my goals is I I, I want to see first of all first couple months in trying to see how the club is run and if I can maybe add some assistance or my expertise to fill in any of the you know the service gaps around here I know I really want to upgrade the member experience whether it's in the golf shop or on the golf course uh, those mean a, a great deal to me and if I can help improve that that's going to be my number one objective Great, Tyler. It's great meeting you today. And just uh, anything else you want to say to the membership? Well, again, I, I think I really want to reiterate how excited I am to be here. Uh, Carlton holds a lot of uh, history for me and, and my family. I actually did my PATs here, my playability test. So I, I passed my test to become a golf pro here at Carlton many, many years ago. Wow. So lots of history here for me and I uh, absolutely love playing here. It's a great course to play. Uh, whether you're walking or, or, or hopping on a cart and, and getting out there. Um, I'm really excited to just be here at the club and, and meet as many members as I can. So, Well, thank you for meeting with us today, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. And I'm sure as the new season comes down, around, uh, all the members will get to know you, and uh, maybe we can take a few lessons from you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out in the course on Men's League if you can get a time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds good. And John, that's a great point. I, I forgot to mention, I, I do teach golf uh, quite a bit. I do have a passion for, for instruction. But i um, looking forward to try and sneak on a few Wednesdays myself and, and maybe hop on a team or, or play with a few of the teams out there. And uh, can't wait to get started. All right. Thank you very much.